Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for all the support. So we all know that the Miami Heat beat the Chicago Bulls 102-91 to to get into the playoffs versus the Milwaukee Bucks. And Max Struess, he had a big game. He had 31 points and 6 rebounds. So Jimmy Butler said after the game, Max made himself a lot of money tonight. And no, he did not, Jimmy Butler. The only way he made some money is if you're going to pay him. Because once again, I don't believe that this team, the Miami Heat, should pay Max Struess. Max Struess has had a terrible season. He's very one-dimensional. His game is very limited. Mind you, you know, Max Schroes, he's not an old guy. You know, he's been in the league now for three, you know, three or four years. Okay. And his game has not improved. Okay. Yeah, he's getting to the rim a little bit more, but he is a very streaky shooter. He's not a reliable enough role player to keep on this bench or just to pay him. So I don't understand why Jimmy Butler is saying that, oh, yeah, you, you know, he definitely deserves his money. He had one good game. So how on earth? Because he had one good game. That he made himself a lot of money. Listen, Max Struess would have to will his way to beat the Milwaukee Bucks for me to pay him. That's the only way that I would pay Max Struess. And once again, I'm not hating on the guy, you know. But once again, are we really going to keep fooling around with Jimmy Bam and Tyler and these role players? Why are we going to continue to surround them with one-dimensional guys that can't create their own shot? And once again, they're going to hit their undrafted ceiling for a reason. Gabe has been terrible this season. Max has been terrible this season. Duncan has barely played this season. It's all for a reason. And in my opinion, that money that Jimmy Butler's talking about, we need to go get put that on high-level role players. Guys like John Collins, Jeremy Grant, Nas Reed. Guys, but Bam needs a four. You know, so once again, I don't think that the Miami Heat should bring back any of these undrafted guys. In my opinion, what they should have done, they should have traded them at the deadline, and whatever happens, happens. Because at the end of the day, we didn't have the season that we all expected. And even after the deadline, we didn't play any better once we got Kevin Love and Cody Zeller. So once again, in my opinion, we should not pay any of these undrafted guys. We need to move off of them. Guess what? If it ends up burning us in the long run, fine. But we all know once these undrafted guys leave the Miami Heat, where are they now? They're at the end of the bench and they're not playing. So in my opinion, once again, we're going to take all that money that Jimmy Butler's talking about and we're going to put it towards talent. We're going to put it towards guys that can create their own shot. We're going to put it towards superstars and deals, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.